GM Neo Knights, welcome to the Week in Review, your one-stop shop for everything that happened in the Neo ecosystem over the past week. You might have noticed a change in the background as we have gotten rid of the green mountainous backdrop and replaced it with the scene that we use for the Smart Economy podcast. Moving forward, we will be using this background. As always, if you appreciate what you're seeing, don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button and to follow our YouTube feed. Let's kick this thing off. Neo released its general monthly report for the month of December 2023, which noted the launch of the Neo X RC1 testnet, Hashkey joining as a Neo Council representative, Neo ecosystem members standing with other crypto blockchain industry folks from the US on Capitol Hill in Washington, DC, and much more. Additionally, Neo is sponsoring the CKS Crypto Bootcamp. The CKS Crypto Bootcamp is an event designed to gather developers and builders, which will take place at the Waseda University located in Tokyo, Japan on January 26th through January 28th. Flamingo Finance released its roadmap for 2024, which noted several forthcoming features and updates. They include the second iteration of the on-chain order book, the release of Flox, which is an upgrade to Flund, a single-sided staking index-like fund, a forthcoming token auction offering module, and much more. Additionally, 3D designer for the Flamingo DeFi project, Somnium Wave, released a pretty awesome video outlining the breadth and depth of the forthcoming changes to the Flamingo Finance DeFi platform. In Grand Shares updates, the Neon.js implementation for Sandbox, IDE, and Pixudi with NeoFS integration, Milestone 2, and a bunch of other Neo features were both put on chain and are waiting endorsement. And a new proposal was put forth and is up for discussion. That proposal is entitled Invariant Fully Permissionless AMM with Concentrated Liquidity. The proposals can be viewed over at www.grantshares.io. To the Moon conducted its third items NFT airdrop, which dispersed 8,788 item NFTs to phase three first quarter character NFT holders. Neo News Today released an article about the state of NeoFS, which shares an overview of where the distributed object storage network stands today. The article provided a comprehensive status update on NeoFS, delving into its architecture, smart contract integration, node operation, and available resources for developers. Head over to neonewstoday.com to check out the article. COZ released an update to Mamba, its Python SDK for Neo blockchain development. The updates to version 2.4 of Mamba brought about enhancements to the smart contract wrappers. Neo News Today released episode 55 of the Smart Economy podcast featuring Nathan Windsor, the CEO and co-founder of Landslide Network, an IBC-enabled Avalanche subnet that allows any Cosmos-based dApp to run natively on the Avalanche network. Topics of discussion included the differences between Avalanche and Cosmos at a protocol level, the strength of an Avalanche Cosmos bridge, the role of permissioned and permissionless blockchain networks, and much more. Additionally, the Neo News Today editors, myself and Edge, co-hosted a smart economy podcast, Spaces, where we spoke about ordinal inscriptions, account abstraction, Neo and Bitcoin core development, the NDAP discovery platform, Neo's Gasbot, and much more. Head over to the Smart Economy Podcast Twitter page to check out the latest spaces. And an upcoming event at 4 p.m. UTC on Friday, January 26, Edge and I will be back with another Smart Economy Podcast Spaces where we're going to talk about NEO, the broader blockchain ecosystem, and our musings about everything in between. And on January 30th, Flamingo Finance will be hosting another Community Lagoon on its official Discord server. Well, that just about wraps up everything that happened in the NEO ecosystem over the past week. I hope the new set is not throwing you for a loop and that we can all grow to love it together. With all that said, thank you so much for taking the time to visit 
If you like and heard what you saw this week, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up button and to follow our YouTube feed. And if you're a NEO token holder, please consider voting for NEO News Today as your council representative. We have proudly been serving the NEO ecosystem since 2017, and we'll continue to put portions of our council rewards directly back into ecosystem growth initiatives. Well, we're looking forward to catching you next week.